Hold on to your butts. It's about to get nuts. We have a huge update for you. A huge update. All right, check it out, guys. U-Haul uh, live auctions today. Have not been to a live auction in forever. Fingers crossed we're going to get some today. Everything's cash. Sales tax here, 10.25%. I just got a bottle of resale. Deposits left in the office. Once you're off the you'll get that back from them. Yeah, sorry. We don't have to Nice. Work for me. That's work for all of us. Yeah. Oh, got 10 over here, I bought 20. Got $10 over here, I bought 20. 10 right here, and then we're 20. 10 over here, 20. Both 20. Over your weight, 10 bucks. Nice. Good steal. Second one, A169. We start out $10 over here, yeah. this one. I got 10 over here, I bought 20. Yeah. Got 20 over here, 30. 40. Yep. 50. 60. Yep. 70. 80. Yeah. 100. 125, 150, yes. 175, 2, yes. 225, yes. 250, yes. 275, 300, yes. 325, 350, yes. 375, 400, yes. 425, 450. Got 425 right here, then we're 450. 425 over here, then we're 450. Got 425 right here, then we're 450. Anybody else 450? Sold your weight, 425. <laughs> 201, 201. Let's start my $10 bid on this one. 10. I got 10 over here, I bought 20. I got 20 right here, 30. Got 30, 40, 50. Got 40 right here, 50. Got 50 over here, 60, 70. Got a $60 bid over here, number 70. $60 bid right here, number 70. Got 60 over here, number 70. About 70. Got 70 over here, 80. 90. 90. 90. 90. Got 80 over here, number 90. $80 bid, looking for 90. Anybody else, 90? Sold your way, 80 bucks. Hmm? I was thinking maybe a store, but no. Just a mm -mm, just shelf. Just a shelf. Yeah. Five right here, then we're 10. Anybody else 10? Got 10 right here, 20. 30. Got 20 over here, then we're 30. 20, got 30 right here, 40. 50. 60. 70. Got 60 over here, then we're 70. 60 dollar bin, then we're 70. Got 60 right here, then we're 70. Anybody else 70? Sold your way, 60 bucks. Oh. Uh, yeah, it goes back there. 60. Huh. You know, what was that that's what 60 350, 375. Got 375 right here, number four. 375 right here, number four. I got 375, number four. Anybody else four? No. Sold your way, 375. That's yours. Oh, wait. Yeah, you got it. No, I can't. I, I see it. I don't know what this means. I don't know what this means. might just. 5,000, 5,000. That's a unit. That's a unit number, not the price. <laughs> <laughs> 50? I yeah. got 50 to start who goes 75. I got 75, 100. 125. 150. 175. I got 150 over here, 175. I got 175, 200. 225. 250. 275. 3. 325. 350. 375. I got 500, 550, 600. Yeah. 650, 700. 750. Got seven over here, then we're 750. Got 750, 800. 850, 900. 950, 1000. 1000. 1150, 1200. 1250, 13. 1350, 14. 1450, 15. Got 15 over here, then we're 1550. 1500, then we're 15. I have 1550, 16. 1650, 17. 1750. Got 17 over here, then we're 1750. 1700, then we're 1750. Anybody else 1750? Sold your way, 1700. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
No, because he bought this unit last time. Oh, time yeah. Ago, and then the guy was... Who bought that last time? Paid. I didn't remember. This? The guy mm -hmm. paid the night before. How's it in here still? Remember the blue furniture? Yeah, I do. This is our last unit, last unit for the day. Last unit for the day. Got 10 right here, about 20. Got a $10 bid right in the room, 20. $10 bid up in the room, 20. I got 10 right here in the room, 20. Boss, 20. I got 20 over here, 30. 40. Got 30 right here, 40. Yeah. Got 40 over here, 50. 60. Yeah. 70. 80. Got 70 right here in the room, 80. $70 bid for 80, I got 80 over here, 90, 100, 125, 150, got 125 right here, 150, got 150, 175, 200, got 175 right here, then for two, 175, then for two, I got 175, then for two, anybody else, two? Hold your weight, 175. All right, guys, headed home. Uh, that's a nice little auction. I mean, nine units is, is fair. Look at the traffic I gotta sit in on the way home. This this part's always backed up like this. Even though it's close to my house, still there's just a lot of traffic around here. A lot of development, a lot of people moving here, a lot of traffic, so. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with that auction. I mean, I got that little unit for 80 bucks. That's a nice little unit. I'm pleased with it. I'm excited about it. I'm not super excited about it, but for 80 bucks, there's, uh, there's some cheap thrills to go through that. All right, guys, back from the auction. I I think that was a good little auction. I mean, nine units is, that's a good day. Uh, there's good chances of getting something, which I did, obviously. <laughs> I got one, 80 bucks. What a good deal too, I think. It, I didn't see anything like terribly expensive, but 80 bucks is cheap thrills. So, hey, we've got some big updates here at the Locker Nuts household, the nut house, whatever you want to call it. One of them, we showed it in the last video, is this little girl right here. Hey, Peaches. What you doing? What you doing? She's a little tired. I walked her a lot before I went to the auction, so I wore her out, I think. I didn't break her. Just wore her out. <laughs> she got lots of energy and lots of mischief in her. What you doing? Hmm? What you doing? I think you want to take a little nap, huh? Yeah. It's nice and very cool today, so... Yeah, guys, that, that, this is a this is a little complication having the dog because when no one's around, uh, I'm left to take care of her and work. So that's it makes it a little tough to clean out uh, lockers. Also makes it tough to go to the auctions. Yeah. So as I was saying, I got a, I got a unit and um, almost got two. So I bid pretty hard on that other one. That, that was the second from the last one. That was me bidding on it. I went up to like seventeen twenty five or seventeen fifty or something like that, and then I let it go. In my head, I was thinking my high on that was gonna be twelve hundred. But once it got past that, I I I went a little bit further. I really liked it. I not like super duper liked it, but I had a feeling that this. Could be a decent locker it had potential i saw a sewing machine up in the upper right kind of and um i saw like a bible study book so i thought an older lady who loves the lord and i thought that might also potentially she could love some jewelry and there might be some jewelry in there but you never know there might be some other collectibles in there too we're always looking for stuff to put into our live auctions and uh that's what we buy well the one i got i i didn't see any collectible potential but i saw a nice clean little unit and i saw the right price 80 bucks so i think it's five by ten we're going to find out pretty soon. That last locker was kind of interesting because that blue furniture, if you guys watch my videos, uh, it's been a long time since they had an auction there, over a year. But that's, that unit sold before. So I was like, wait a second, who bought this? And Brian was like, I bought it last time. And I was like, wait, what? So I asked him after. So what happened is, I guess um, they... They were, the guy had paid like the night before or something and they didn't see the payment. So they weren't really supposed to sell that off. So he had bought it um, and they made him square and they got that back to the owner. But then the guy just defaulted on it. So <laughs> uh, it didn't look that bad last time but that blue furniture definitely is unique and i think probably custom made so we don't see that very often that was a telltale that we'd seen that before uh that furniture gave it away but anyways that one had a little bit of story not too much but uh definitely definitely got me intrigued so uh, we'll go back there in a little bit and, and start digging but first i wanted to uh update you guys on a couple other things dog number one T number two Gianna left this morning i had to drive her to the airport we left it like 
before 3 a.m. I drove her to the airport. She's flying back to North Carolina because our daughter is having a, a baby uh, today. So um, at least I think it's today. We didn't have any updates as to the baby coming early. Uh, so, but the baby could have been, the baby I think was due last Friday. So she could have come any time. Uh, but now they're basically like, all right, they're just going to schedule a C-section. This baby's got to come. And uh, <laughs> she's overdue. And so today they're just, it's basically if the baby doesn't come overnight, they're having C-section today. Gianna's on a plane headed out there as fast as she could. It was very expensive. Last minute flights and such cross country. So we're in California. Gianna's on her way to North Carolina right now. I know she stopped in Houston and a uh, very exciting day. Very exciting day. So that's another big update. And hopefully we'll have some pictures sent to us pretty soon of this, this sweet little granddaughter uh, coming. And then the other update is that since my last purge update, if you guys have been watching our videos, we do this thing called the purge where I'm selling off excess inventory, trying to close out some of my storage lockers, save some money, but also turn that inventory into cash and invest it in the S&P 500. Uh, that's what we've been doing. And it's been probably about two weeks since the last update. I think it's time we've sold a ton of stuff. Let's take a look. All right, first up, I've got two items that I sold literally while I was at the auction. Isn't that crazy? Making money while at the auction. This piece right here, it's a little miniature set that goes in your, uh, you know, like your train set, or in this case, an airport set. One uh, 500 is the scale, so it's very small. HO scale for comparison is 1 to 87. So this is a very, very small. I think N scale is 1 to 400, so this is smaller than N. This might be Z scale or something, but yeah, little buildings, whatever. 50 bucks, not bad. Then this is a bunch of game cards for a game called Perplexity. Perplexity. And I don't know exactly how we play this game, but I know we got a bunch of stuff. And I think they came in these packs right here. So almost like a Pokemon booster pack. They come in these foils. These are empty. Um, he had opened them all and put them in, I think, kind of order. And see this, it has something to do. You scratch it off or some something. I don't know what it does. Most of these are unscratched. Maybe all of them unscratched. I don't know. I didn't care. I just wanted to sell it all. And that's what we did. It sold this big bunch. I didn't even bother like, uh, you know, putting the numbers 96, this 109, 116. I just said, hey, we got about 100 of these from this number to this number assorted in between, mostly all unscratched. 100 bucks sold. Hold on to your butts, it's about to get nuts. We have a huge update for you, a huge update. I think this is our largest update since we started the Purge series. So today is the 25th of September. The last update, can you believe it was the fourth? Uh, yeah, we were a little late on putting that video out, so you probably saw that recently, but yeah, three weeks of sales, massive sales. I wanna show you what we sold, let's get into it. Okay, first up, this sold last night, and it was 200 bucks out of the toy collection that we purchased. Master Replicas, Lord of the Rings. We sold one of these before for 180 Sold the other one. I had two. This also sold last night right here. It's a Broadway Limited train out of our train locker, obviously. 175 bucks. I'm going to run th quick through these guys. There's a lot of stuff. Here's a little um, train locker find here. A little Unimog truck, 50 bucks. Toy collection find, Heroscape, 120 bucks. No box. This is a little sound card for some kind of Brookstone device, 25 bucks. Thunderbirds board game, 150 bucks. Thunderbird stuff sells, it's hot. This is a uh, video game, also from the toy collection. This is for the pocket PC, and it is 90 bucks. A little plane, this out of our train locker, 110 bucks. Toy collection, Hellboy figure, 65 bucks. Illuminati cards, 50 bucks. Another Hellboy figure, 65 bucks. This book came from our six locker estate of a couple of years ago, two or three years ago. The Mercenary, 35 bucks, a hardbound book. Fleshman Train, 50 bucks. Concord Train, look at this one, 650 bucks. There's two sets there, so together, 650. That was a good train. This little Godzilla play set, 150. We sold two of those before, I think. And this is the third one. Here's a little old tool, 45 bucks. eBay's great. There's a Hero 11. If it looks familiar, that was my old Hero 11. I got the Hero 13. So I sold the old one as well as some accessories. 210 bucks. Thunderbirds, little uh, toy figurines, whatever. 125 bucks. Thunderbirds go, man. They're hot. Aero Classics, little tiny plane. 40 bucks. Hell, another Hellboy figure. 110 this time. Star Wars, uh, Snow Speeder, 80 bucks. Herper Wings, 25. I hope you can tell what came from the toy collection, what came from the the um, train locker, it's pr probably pretty obvious. If not, like with this piece here, this came out of the toy collection, but the first 
part of it that we bought out of the locker. $75. It's an empty Tag Heuer box. Surprising, right? eBay's great for that kind of stuff. Here's another plain model, $125. Another plain model, $120. Another action figure, Spider-Man this time, $100. This right here, $250 plain Luthanza. This is by InFlight. Very good brand. High quality die cast stuff, as is this one. Another one, $250. Both of those were bought by the same collector and this one's uh trans world twa magic card you guys might remember me finding that in the, a couple videos ago and we sold it 100 bucks herpa wings there's little tiny staircases to go with your planes 25 bucks another action figure the thing 45 bucks donkey kong jungle beat this came from the toy collection with the video games 199 bucks another godzilla 150 bucks i think it's the fourth one i've sold this uh robotech toy from 1994 50 bucks I had three or more of these, and we lotted them up in the auction. I shouldn't have done that. I think we sold all three for like 50 bucks or something. Dang it. <laughs> Sphero, a little remote control wristband thing for their droids, 30 bucks. Another plane, 120 bucks. James Bond, Dr. No, 95 bucks from Sideshow. Uh, Overland, these are those brass trains, 375. That's a low end for those trains. Uh, 375, still a good sale. This uh, Universal Electric Chafer Heater, 110 bucks. This is the kind of thing that you will never get that price at the flea market. This is definitely where you want to go to eBay with something like that. Um, that's good money for a used item. All right, more trains, 175 bucks for these three. Then we got 100 bucks for these two. Then we got 60 bucks for one and 80 bucks for one. They are all very similar and they were all sold to the same buyer. This Hero Escapes right here, 100 bucks. Hero Escapes again, Marvel, 110 bucks. Overland. Now this is one of those brass trains again, and uh, that's more like it. Seven hundred and fifty bucks. Good stuff. Nine hundred and fifty bucks this time. Another brass train. Yikes! I just listed this stuff. Um, I've got some brass trains we didn't list. I listed them, and they're selling right away. Up practically. This one's seven hundred fifty. Uh, here's one of those Star Wars Sphero droids. This one's over two sixty. It was pretty rare. Another Hellboy figure, but this time it's sideshow. Sideshow stuff is great. Another brass train, 850. I think you guys can tell these are some big sales. The numbers are adding up quick. Okay, this is kind of interesting because these little Mighty Max play sets. This one's a zombie hand. You see it opens up and you got little tiny figures and you got the little Mighty Max guy. Uh, these were complete. This guy is such a great collector. All were in the plastic bags. These were all uh, loose toys and this one sold for 85 bucks. No box. This one, very similar thing. It was a fly, sold for 75 same buyer on those two. Look at this, sold another Rock Lords. This, I think, is the most expensive Rock Lords we had. 250 bucks. Hallmark ornament with the uh, Star Trek, 50 bucks. Another train, this time Kato, 199 bucks. A uh, brand new tablet, and that was 60 bucks. Little Prizer military figurines, 40 bucks. Micro Machine Star Wars, 50 bucks. Another Heroescape, 120 bucks. Heroescape's another great seller. Another Hallmark, this one's Narnia, 30 bucks. This is a vintage puzzle, 1989, sold it for 49 bucks. Another sideshow piece, James Bond, this one only sold for 50. This is a board game, sealed, brand new, 60 bucks. Another Prizer military, no, this is not military, it's a little miniature food, 40 bucks. Another military, 40 bucks. Another military, 40 bucks. Uh, this is a fluke temperature humidity meter, uh, 60 bucks, sold like within an hour of listing it. I probably listed it too low. Uh, this came out of the recent locker, so this does not go towards our purge account. Okay, I just want to show you this a sale. Some of the other stuff may have come out of that recent locker too. I start getting confused, but I try not to include in the purge. Purge is supposed to be the old inventory, the old stock that we're clearing out. So, um, But this is another plane right here. Definitely old stuff. We've had this for about three years. 125 bucks. I just listed it though. Another Prizer miniature food, 40 bucks. All right, guys, that's it for eBay sales. I mean, it's like, oh, that's it. No, that was a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. I ran through it very quick. Usually, I like talk a little bit more about the individual items because I think the stuff's so cool. And um, what locker it came from and all that stuff, I think is interesting, but maybe you guys don't. But anyways, let's get on to whatnot. We had quite a few auctions in the last three weeks. So this one was back on September 9th. If you can see this stuff, it might be a little sl small. Uh, we sold 1622 Our net on that was 1360 I'm not going to take that full amount. I think I did about half because, again, a lot of the stuff that we were selling and the whatnot came out of the recent locker. That's new purchases, not part of the purge. It's just a little, you know, just kind of, I'm kind of a nerd. I like to keep track of this stuff as good as I can. Then we had a comic book sale. 
This was all comic books. That was all old purchases. 1644 is our total right here. And our net on that was 1416. We're going to add that whole amount into the purge in just a second. We're going to show you guys. I think you're going to be blown away when you see this in a second. So then our next regular variety show was here on September 16th. Uh, 3347 netted out 2870. Again, I think we're going to take not even half of this one. We'll have to take less on this one. I'll show you in a second. But there was not very much stuff that wasn't a new purchase in this in this particular auction so uh we didn't take very much towards the purge on that then on the 20th we did another comic book show wow this is good twenty seven hundred and thirty eight dollars in comics sold twenty three fifty six was the net we're gonna add all of that to the purge and then the show that we just had like literally two days ago uh very good show sold five thousand twenty seven dollars netted out 4360 of that and this time we did have um we had some new purchases but we had a lot of old purchases too in there so we're going to take more of this one than we did on the last variety show let's get right into that all right guys so here's my purge sheet and you see it's updated today the 25th all of these we just showed you guys we ran through them pretty fast but man look at this there's so many so many sales in three weeks i've been listing a lot that's why i haven't been buying lockers i've been mostly listing we get down to the total look at this ten thousand five hundred and sixty two dollars total sold on ebay just ebay uh we take 15 percent out for their fees that's an estimation and that leaves us with 89.77 net then we've got our four no five shows we did five shows in three weeks wow yeah because each of these two comic book shows uh were a second in those weeks so we had three weekly shows and then two add-ons um that is so this we just took like 50 percent of this one this i only took 500 dollars out of that one and then this one i think it just said 1500 out of the uh whatever it was 4600 or something so the comics I took full amount. The other ones I kind of took a portion, only a portion, because only a portion of those auctions were made of old stock. So I think I'm fair on that. I usually like to underestimate. Here we've got a total of going into the purge from just the last three weeks, 15,430. It's not really that m amazing of a number because when I go back and look at when I was doing, uh, keeping up with like weekly totals, we're putting about 5,000 a week into our purge account, 5,000 in sales. So that's three weeks, 15,000. Makes sense. Yeah, right on. Let's get it in there and take a look at how much that account is worth because I think we're going to see it have gone up. The S&P 500 has been doing very good the past few weeks. All right, guys, check this out. This is so awesome. All right, so total raised by the purge, 62350 Value investment, we're, we're seeing some returns. Finally, finally, we're seeing some good returns. Six, over 64000 now. That means we have a profit of $1,667. Now, um, keep in mind, we've only been doing this for like, I think three months or less than three months. So that's a pretty solid return for three months. Start off $62,000, right? Because we just put in 15. So before that was like 47. So 1600 off of 47, just three months, less than three months. I think that's pretty good. But of course, the last update, it was in the negative. So it's going up and down, up and down. And guys, I've said it before, but with this economy and elections this year and all this crazy stuff going on, I do expect it to go down. I mean, this is not like, oh, I think we're going to make tons of money. No, I think we're going to see it go back in the red here pretty soon, but it's okay. This is the long haul. We've got at least 10 years in this account, at least 10 years before we need to pull the money out. This is a retirement account basically for us. So um, it's fine. It's fine. If we needed to get it out like real quick, like if we need to pay for college or we're planning on buying a home, we would put it in something a lot less risky. There are other good options that are still returning a fair amount, but the S&P 500 is a real, I think a real good place but what do i know i buy junk for a living <laughs> so hey, keep all that in context and don't follow my advice i'm just showing you what we're doing because i think it's exciting and fun and something a little bit different i hope you guys are enjoying it i know some of you are and i appreciate that feedback and um let's see so geez right now i gotta figure out how to, to uh get this dog situated so i can go work on this unit um i'm excited but I think we're going to do that in the next episode. So right now we're going to wrap this up. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the live auction. I sure did. I missed that part of this business. It used to all be live auctions. Now it's a majority, a vast majority online. So we just don't get that thrill anymore. You don't get that little adrenaline rush uh, like you do at the live. The lives are fun. And also you don't get that satisfaction of really being able to just dig right in, which I didn't do today. That's because the dog. If I didn't have the dog, I would have dug right in. 
in. Um, it is something satisfying about buying and jumping right in. It's like a euphoria, you know, you keep that high going and um, it's okay. I, now I have something to look forward to and I think we're going to start digging today. You guys ready for that? Well, you have to wait just a little, little tiny bit till we get to the next video out, but I'll be filming in just a little bit. So um, next episode should be fun. We'll see. We'll see you then, right? Until then, good luck to you. God bless you. And we'll see you next time here on Locker Nuts.